Here we go. It's time for the main event of the evening. Yo, this is the creme de la creme, ladies and gentlemen. This I is what everybody's here for. Vic, you want to explain to us how Ralph Imabayashi got his shot for the title? For one fall with a 30-minute time limit. And it After is Potch Talks. I sort of like this guy now. Nice guy. Nice guy. Found yourself a new friend there. He's like a pudgy Michael Buffer. Challenger coming right up. It's the little guy, Ralph Imabayashi. Still calling the little guy. He's got himself this opportunity. Now, how do you get that, Vic? How do you find himself in this position? He's got a title match, a main event against the champion. That's, that's really crazy, man. I mean, people are calling him the flush killer right now. You know, Ralph Imabayashi has a tough task ahead of him. He knows what he's up against. He knows what he's in this match for. He knows what's at stake. The PWR Championship is within reach for this young man. He's, this, a, he's going to get the king. This could be a career-defining night for Ralph Imabayashi. You know, Classical Brian Leo has been champion since Revolution X. That's right. And we just might see a new champion tonight. I don't know about this guy, guys. I mean, as a champion, he's coming up here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's got crowd. He's got crowd. He's not changing his head. You know, know why? Why? You know why? Because of all of the crap you've talked about it. No. I mean, I reached out like a classy gentleman. Look, look, look at that. No class. Seriously, you know, this guy, he looks like he shops in uh, in Toys R Us, the kids section. He's wearing a kitty, a baby, an infant this Superman costume. Can hit, can hit anyone, anytime, from anywhere. He's got speed on his side. He's got strength. He's really fast. I give him that. He's, he's, he's real quick, man, you know? And right now, he's got an opportunity to win the belt. That is true. Here's someone who probably isn't looking forward to this match. Of course he is. He welcomes, he's a fighting champion, guys. As long as the right Oh, people want a shirt. Oh, there's a lucky crowd member. He's Without further ado. Here is the flush. The ace in the hole, accompanied by the queen, Scarlet. And there, there is your champion. Classical Brian Leo, the current PWR champion, making his way to the ring. Don't you guys love that robe he's wearing? Apparently it's an Armani. And it's got like real diamonds on there. You see those big that glistening in your eyes? Something you could never afford in your paycheck, uh, Kiko. I went past, I don't put it past him to wear these brands like Armani and maybe a Prada as a robe. Because he can afford it. He has to put up this facade where you know, he's all that and he tries to show it with his robe, with his crowd, with his posse. Oh, gives a little high five there because we have a flush supporter. That's awesome. There you go. He does it again. Now, you know what? I think I can smell the crap all the way from here. Oh, no. Come on, man. Look at that. That's right. You the man. You the man, Brian Leo. Champion. He is the champion. Not for him. And he's been the champion for quite some time. Oh, yeah. And there's the stare down. Show the little man what he can achieve. Show the little man what he's not getting tonight. Be careful what you say. Ralph Kamalayashi has pulled up upset victories since he's gotten here. Look, classical Brian Leo is probably the most proficient player in the wrestling GWR, but he's first, arrogant. The challenger out through the roof. from Andy Polo Rizal, representing Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 151 pounds, he is the Filipino Japanese sensation, Ralph Imabayashi! There he is, getting the crowd support. 
What do you think about his chances there, Mr. C? You know what, as and long as he keeps opponent. believing, yeah. he's got a chance. That sounded like a Journey song. I think as long as the flush stays out of it, his chances are even greater. And you know that the flush will not stay out of it. Yep. Let him talk. Let One, the man talk. Two, three. Will you please look at me? Oh, not again. For those of you who don't know, you shut up! People don't say my lines. That's right. I do this on my own. I want silence when I do this. You know why? Because unlike you, I hail from a first world country. You know what? Like it, or, uh, like it or not, whether you admit it or not, these people love him. Yeah, they're eating him up. And they're spitting him back out. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know it's people like that that, look, that give other people, your people, a bad name. Okay. This is the reason why everyone looks down on all of you is because of trash like that. That's right. You're really stupid. And because of that, because of that, before this match starts, I'm gonna tell you about a movie I saw recently. It was called Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Now, is he I'm really gonna do watch this? it? I watched it already, I'm fine. You know, I'm the goddess of my heart. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys about that movie because I know most of you couldn't afford to see it. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler number one. Okay. Cover your Spoiler ears, guys. Spoiler number one. Wow, the audacity. Even Matt Ross and First of all, him not to this do place it. is gonna go crazy. Longer, join the dark side. <laughs> okay. He did it! He did it! He was a lot darker in this movie. Okay. Second of all, Chewbacca got shot several times. Matt Ross can't believe this. I don't think he's watched it yet. You know what? Matt Ross is probably the most disappointed person in the Spanish, ring right I'm now. Sorry. In the auditorium. Now, anyways. Champion. Matt Ross showing off that gold there. That's what it's all about, gentlemen. That's right. That is why we're here tonight. Ralphie Mabayashi. He's getting he ready. He better keep focus. He looks like he's ready. And here we go. He's got one hell of a technical wrestler as an opponent in the ring and two distractions outside. Oh, stop he it. They just let his guard down. No, they're just there to show support, man. They want to see him win the title again. No, we've got to be real. You know Scarlett and John Sebastian are just out there to show support. We've seen it tonight. Oh. That hurt the Smurf. He's not a Smurf. You take that back. He's wearing blue. Look at Brian Leo. You know, as good of a wrestler as he is, as technically sound as he is, you know that he's just taking Ravi Mabayashi lightly. And that's going to be his undoing by the end of this match. Well, Imabayashi right. has always been a, 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 you know, what is it? Like, uh, it's, it's basically like the Karate Kid, right? Like Ralph Macchio, you know? 
uh, or it's Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Yeah. So you're calling you're, you're calling Brian An Miyagi's Billy Zane. <laughs> Sweep the leg, Johnny. Sweep the leg. And that just might cost him his title. Wait a minute. A oh, little bit of chain wrestling response. going on here. Oh. Nice little arm lock there. Wow, flips over, a quick pin, one count. Uh, Leo, Leo straight back. Oh! Shows a sign of disrespect with that slap. Oh! Oh my God! Ralph, my the women and in children. <laughs> it's a wow. slap fest. This kid's not backing down. No, he's not. How old is Ralph Imabayashi? Ralph Imabayashi is just a 19-year-old guy. Wow. But he's fighting like a Duterte right now, that's for sure. Do you know what we should do, really? I mean, is we should call 163. Why would you do that? Because Leo's gonna murder this kid. We should call Bantai Bata. That's... Come on, Vic. <laughs> Be nice to say you sometimes. <laughs> you wonder why we're friends. Nice little headlock there. Wait a minute. Oh, good exchange. No Rolls count. Up. Oh, oh, a little there ground and pound there. There it is. Whoa, wait a minute. Him. Caught him. Caught him in he's the cross face. Yeah, he's got a cross face on. It's, come on, come on, Leo. Are we going to see that tap out? No. 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 Oh, foot on the rope. There you go. Great presence of mind by classical Brian Leo. Again, that's why he's the champ. And look what, what Ralph Imabayashi did. He didn't take advantage of the five seconds he had. That's because he plays by the rules. Ralph Imabayashi is a guy who likes to wrestle with honor. Well, the rule stipulates that you have five seconds before you let go, so he's well within his rights. He's just the smarter of the two. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a sharpshooter. Sharp it's a sharpshooter. Imabayashi locking it in. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Is he going to tap out? No, Look he's going. Leo using Scarlet to pull himself towards oh, the no. bottom he did it all on the way too. out. Not just unlocking the hold. He just crawls all the way out. That's smart. It's if smart. If Scarlet and John Sebastian weren't here, Brian Leo could very well have tapped out. We could have very well had a new PWR champion. That's right. Oh, and Ralph not giving them a break. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Ralph! Oh! From a top to bottom. Hits the whole flush. And that's for everybody who the Royal Flush has offended over the past year and a half. But he, he, he's got to bring him back in. Can't win the match outside. Nope, nope, you can't. You're going to get counted out. Smart move by Ralph Imabayashi. That's true. Take classical Brian Leo. Measuring him, measuring up. Oh! Oh, he's working on that leg. What's he doing now? Oh, kicks to the chest. Yes, 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 yes. Multiple kicks to the chest. He's Shades of Daniel Bryan right there. Oh. Right. Wow. Oh. Takes him down and into the cover. The two count. This Scarlet, two count. Look, look what happened to Scarlet. I mean, is this the makings of a good guy here that just knocked the girl out? Come on. But blessing in disguise, we're going to see a fair fight. And if it wasn't for Scarlett, Rafi oh. Mabayashi could have won the match earlier. It's that would have, thing. would have. But again. But he has that <laughs> chance again now. Classical Brian Leo is alone. The flush is out. Five minutes have away passed. From ringside. Five minutes have passed. Here's, he's a question. Up. Yeah. Here's a question for you guys. When's yeah. the last time Brian Leo has been in a real one-on-one -on -one match? <laughs> I'll give you the answer. Never. He's never been all alone, unlike right now. That's right. I've never seen this. This is yet again another first. A lot of firsts. Again, I don't think, like, honestly, just to prove my point, I don't think the flush was there to help him. Oh, boy, the that's not a... flush has always been there to help him. Yeah, like moral support, They're not going to save him from this kick. Oh! I heard that one. Come on, Leo, get up. The crowd loves me, apparently. <laughs> no, you're a homer. That's what you are. 
I am the champion again of commentary. The, the entire galaxy knows I'm the best commentator in this. Yeah, world. according to like the noise tro trophy shop in the Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> calling for it, setting him up. Ralph Mabayashi. Looking for the Sonic. Oh, oh, the Sonic Crusher, but no, Brian Leo wisely. Brian Leo must have studied him. Oh, definitely. That's what a champion does. You know, you have to prep up. Get and ready. Not, and I'm not surprised, given how you know how Ooh. how he's mastered the technical art of wrestling. In a second, Kokeshi right there. Yeah. Is he going for a third? Nope. He's gonna drag him in the middle first, and then oh wait a minute. What's Taste that? of your own medicine oh, there. Sharp Here's shooter. a sharpshooter. Ralph Mabayashi is trapped. He's trying to power out of it. He's got to grab the rope. He's got to grab the rope. Oh, there you go. Two, three, Abusing. Abusing the five oh. count. Oh. Loud. Let go of a hole. <laughs> now up. He's setting him up for a suplex. Oh, beautiful suplex. And now that Brian Leo has the upper hand, I mean, what does Ralph have to do to get out of this predicament? You know, quit. Ralph Imabayashi, no, not quit. <laughs> Ralph Imabayashi's got a lot of moves in his arsenal, and he just has to find the right moment. I've been saying this all night, but everybody's got a weakness. Everybody's got a breaking point, and Ralph Imabayashi has to exploit that. Classical Brian Leo, as, as technical of a wrestler as he is, as great as he is at his job, he also has that chink in his armor. And Ralph Imabayashi needs to find it and exploit it. Oh, well put. Oh, look at this. But right now he's going for those three. He's going for a hat trick. Oh boy, this he is how we do it in the first world. The suplex. Oh. oh, there we go. Does he have it? He just might. Oh. I was about to call it too. I was like, that's actually how you murder shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Boston Crab here. Boston Crab right in the middle of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Good counter. Is this enough? I told you, Vic. You just got to find it. Find your spot. That's right. No, I, I oh, don't believe that. Oh, he caught wait the arm. What's he doing? A submission leg lock. Well. These guys know exactly how to get in and out of submission holds. Yeah, well, Ralph is no stranger to the ring. You know, classical Brian Leo, we know he's the champ. That's what he does, man. And a third Kokeshi. He packs a lot of those Kokeshis per match. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Oh, look at that round, beautiful head, man. That's like a battering ram. Fisherman suplex, hook, pin combination, two count. Oh, he's holding him in. He's locking him in. Going for another? Oh, oh there's another. Good show of strength by... Classical Brian Leo. And you know, that's much harder when you deadlift a guy. Oh, no, definitely. Ooh. Off the mat. He's locking him in. This is this is actually really smart. For yet another. Is this number four? Oh. Number four. Classical Brian Leo can't believe it. Yeah, Brian Leo is looking. Ralph Imabayashi is making a name for himself right now in that's front all of the hard. Academy Auditorium. Yeah, I have to say, that's all hard. He's squaring with the best right now, the best in the business. Wait a minute, he's talking to uh, veteran referee Matt Rojas. He just here. put his hands on the ref. Is that loud? <laughs> Brian Leo now. One, two. Whipping Ralph. Leo. What's he setting him up for? It's the first World Express. You heard it. Oh! Ten minutes and the have first passed. World Ten Express came crashing passed. down. Oh, that's going to take a toll on his knees. Without his knees, half his moves are gone. He goes Ralphie. Up on Ralph. the second rope. Ralph oh, no, measuring him. his prey. Oh! Wait a minute, oh, Leo. Oh! oh. Ralph Imabayashi wow. just kicked out of the PCW. What is that? What does the PCW stand for? The painful classic wreckage, that's what he calls it. That's exactly what it looked like. Ralph is still down. And look at the I Academy Auditorium just willing him on. Cheering him on. Wait a minute. 
Going Aaliyah. for Kokeshi. Oh! Hits again! You know, at some point, he's got to start bringing a Kokeshi counter. He should. Look at that. Here's another one. Improvising it from the first rope. Is he That's going right. up? He's going up the second rope. Second rope, Kokeshi. Oh, there's another one. He's doing it. He's Classical making Brian work Leo. of this kid here. Classical Brian Leo hands out Kokeshi's the way Brock Lesnar hands out suplexes. <laughs> He's going That's for right. top rope Kokeshi. If he hits this, I don't know how much Ralph's going to have left. Leo's getting dangerously. Oh, oh wow. wow. Still wow. hits it. Amazing, folks. Dangerously close to an injury right there. No, he's, he's calling it. The champ's move. calling it. No, sir, that's not the safest move. Wow. <laughs> and Ralph. Ralph. Nabayashi's getting fired up. Second win here. He is up. He's fired up. Oh. This. He's no it. showing no. And now he's giving it. Somewhere, some way, Mario Rojas wishes he were Ralph Imabayashi right now. <laughs> That's right. Come on, don't say that, boss. The king of the second win. From all sides. Oh! How many strikes was that? He was bouncing around like a human pinball. Yeah, well, it stunned Leo. Stunned him enough to keep him down. But Ralph should be careful. Because Ralph right territory. Now. He's going for... Oh! Off the second rope there. Hits him with a cent on. Yeah. Two count. You know, Ralph Imabayashi's issues with the Royal Flush have spanned the better part of his year. And that's what got us here. That's right. And I, I hate the fact that people are actually calling him the Flush Killer. That's not gonna happen. Hey, he's got one way to prove them all right, and that is to take the belt away, take the big one away from the boss. Well, that is true. Go Try to Sonic Crusher. Oh. No. Oh, the flush down. Are we seeing is this? Is this the flush down? Uh oh. Are we seeing this? It's locked in. Oh! oh Royal flush, flush down. down. Go for the cover. That might be it. Wait. Classical Brian Leo doesn't have enough energy to go for the cover. Come on, Brian Leo. This gives Ralph enough time to get up, to catch his breath. I Showing believe, signs of life. I, I can't believe that Classical Brian Leo didn't go for the pin. When does that ever happen? Yeah, he's 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 been hit enough to keep him tired. Down. Come on, Leo, let's do this. Brian Leo just trying to find his inner strength and Ralph Imabe actually doing the same. You know, these two guys are more alike than we, than we give them credit for. They're both up at the same time. They're, you know they're both gonna strike. Oh, wow. You know, these guys are both resilient. These guys are both persevering. Oh! Ralph Imabayashi wants to humiliate Brian Leo. Brian yeah, Leo wants to prove just how good he really is. Smack in the the ring. Guess who won that exchange? Leo's got the headlock, but it's an Irish whip from Ralph. Sonic oh, Crusher, no. Sonic Crusher, wait a minute. He's got him. He's got him in a lock. He's got him in a sleeper. Oh! He's going for it again. Ralph is pounding on Leo's neck. 12 to 6 in the back of the head. Sonic Crusher! Oh, no. Did he hit it? Right. Here is your oh, winner, MVP, oh, 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 WR Champion, oh, Christmas Ralph Imabayashi. I can't believe it, Ralph Imabayashi is the brand new BWR Champion. No. Where did Sonic Crusher come from? Wow. No. The biggest surprise of the night, Ralph Imabayashi is your new BWR champion. This is a guy who has been fighting with the Royal Flush since day one. He's been standing for everything that's right. Vic, he's everything you hate, but he's everything we want. He is your new BWR champion, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Congratulations, Ralph. The night is yours. You deserve it. Oh. Enjoy it. Relish the moment. You are our champion. 
You've done the impossible. And you can see the PWR roster getting in the ring, showing respect. You're the man! I am speechless. Congratulations, Ralphie Mabayashi. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. This is PWR Terminus from the I Academy Auditorium. it up on the shoulders of the PWR roster. Our I don't believe champion, this. Ralph I can't believe this. Listen to the crowd. You deserve this, Ralph. The heart of a champion, Ralph Imabayashi, sticking it to the Royal Flush. Show of respect, enthusiasm, and sportsmanship. We got the men of PWR up in the ring with Ralph and Malaya. Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here tonight at the I Academy Auditorium at your homes, where you are watching this. This is PWR Terminus, now Ralph Imabayashi and JDL for the PWR Championship at Revolution X. If he retains, if he can keep the championship until Revolution X, that will be our main event. That's right, Merry Christmas everyone. For Vic Emanuel yep. and Mr. C, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, guys.